He was like, you're gonna be naked tonight. And I was like, whatever you say, daddy, whatever daddy says. I mean, yeah, he's not allowed to have other hoes in his music video. It's the queen or no one. New York, I need you to get extra loud for our future baby daddies, Machine Gun Kelly and Travis Barker. Just Megan Fox and musician Machine Gun Kelly announced their engagement yesterday and said they drank each other's blood. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Exposing SMG. It's been a little while since we have spoken to each other here, and we are more than ready to jump right back into it. This week's video is a special one because we will be discussing the weird relationship that is Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. At this point, everyone has heard about the couple's engagement announcement, and that alone came with a lineup of many weird antics. For starters, the couple claims to have united their bond by drinking each other's blood. Not only did that happen, but alongside the engagement, Machine Gun Kelly gifted Megan an engagement ring that is filled with tiny thorns and is supposed to be physically painful if it was ever taken off. Because according to him, love is pain. Right, so what is really going on with them? Is this some angst high school relationship where they swear they're actually twin flames and they have these cosmic connections? Or is this all for show? And in this video, we will be discussing exactly that and going into detail about all the weird things they have done in the past few months because there are a lot of interesting things happening between the two. Make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video because we are saving the weirdest things for last. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like, and let us know down in the comments below if you're interested in a video about Kourtney Kardashian being jealous of Megan Fox for taking the spotlight away from her. Megan and Machine Gun Kelly met right before the pandemic in March 2020 on their movie set Midnight in the Switchgrass. Filming shut down in two weeks in regards to the COVID-19 pandemic, but apparently that was enough time for these two to form a connection. At the time, sources were telling E! News that the pair are intrigued by each other and having a lot of fun. The first time they were spotted out together was in May 2020 when they were photographed getting takeout. This gets even more interesting when Megan's ex-husband Brian Austin Green starts to shade Megan. On her birthday, Brian posted an Instagram photo of a butterfly and captioned it, Eventually, butterflies get bored sitting on a flower for too long. They start feeling smothered. It's a great big world and they want to experience it. Is this a reference to Megan's back tattoo, which says we will all laugh at gilded butterflies? Probably. Not only did Brian post that, but he confirmed their split on a podcast in May 2020, where he sort of shifted blame on Megan for wanting the relationship to end. Quoting Megan, he said, I realized when I was out of the country working alone that I feel more like myself, and I liked myself better during that experience, and I think that might be something worth trying for me. I was shocked and I was upset about it, but I can't be upset at her because she didn't ask to feel that way. It wasn't a choice she made, that's just the way she honestly felt. Here's the thing. It seems like Brian is having a hard time getting over the fact that Megan left him. We can talk more about this in a post or two because rumors have been circling about the toxicity of that relationship for years. That same day, a source told E! News that Megan and Machine Gun Kelly have been getting close and been hooking up for a little while now. By May 20th, 2020, Machine Gun Kelly released a music video for his song, Bloody Valentine, in which he cast Megan to be his on-screen girlfriend. And it's safe to say the video was very on-brand for them. Throughout the majority of the video, Machine Gun Kelly is tied up with his mouth shut with pink duct tape while he gets electrocuted. But that's not the weirdest thing to happen yet. 
Megan steps on Machine Gun Kelly's face, and when opening up about the creative direction of the video, he says, It's no secret. I think feet are beautiful. And I think Megan has the most beautiful feet that exist. He then went on to say, I was like, Megan, you already know what I'm about to ask you. And she was like, yeah, I literally got a pedicure just because I knew you were going to ask me that. So I was like, all right, well, plop it on. A few weeks later, Machine Gun Kelly confirmed the relationship on Twitter after they were spotted kissing, quoting his song, Bloody Valentine. He says, I'm calling you girlfriend, what the f***? Life imitated art on that one. Okay, that was kind of cute, not gonna lie. While this is going on, Brian is telling sources that he isn't ready to file for divorce just yet and is hoping that by giving Megan space, they'll find their way back to each other. On July 22nd, Megan and Machine Gun Kelly gave their first ever joint interview where Megan spilled that just from that one meeting, she could tell he was her twin flame. She goes on to say, Because I knew, I could feel that some wild shit was going to happen to me from that meeting. But I wasn't yet sure what. I knew right away that he was what I call a twin flame. Instead of a soulmate, a twin flame is actually where a soul has ascended into a high enough level that it can be split into two different bodies at the same time. So we're actually two halves of the same soul, I think. And I just said that to him almost immediately because I felt it right away. While Machine Gun Kelly and Megan are in blissful happiness, there is one person who will keep reminding the world how hurt he is. Brian went on the Hollywood Raw podcast to say that he found out about them in his own way, and that he was trying to keep everything mature and try focusing on himself and the kids. Yeah, the high road approach didn't last long because two days later, Megan posted a shirtless photo of Machine Gun Kelly and wrote, achingly beautiful boy, my heart is yours. To which Brian later mocked by posting pictures of their sons with the same exact caption, achingly beautiful boys, my heart is yours. Machine Gun Kelly was on YouTube reading thirst tweets when a fan said, I would let MGK suck my toes, maybe. He responded back saying, he's only sucking on one pair of toes. Ugh, why the visual? One thing I noticed that's interesting about them is that they describe their relationship in a really, really intense way. For example, when Megan talks about him, she's all like, loving him is like being in love with a tsunami or a forest fire. The intensity of merging with him is just overwhelming and the threat it possesses is so powerful, but so beautiful that you have no choice to surrender with reverence and with gratitude. What the hell? I looked into his eyes. I felt the most pristine, most gentle, most pure spirit. My heart shattered immediately and I just knew that I was fucked. Am I reading a fan fiction? It doesn't get any better than Megan calling Machine Gun Kelly's soul the most pure spirit and then his ex Summer Rae says he basically cheated on her with Megan. Summer Rae exposed him saying, I waited in the hotel the whole time while he was filming with her and I'm not really thinking anything of it. I thought she was older and had kids and was married and stuff. I think they're a cute couple. I'm not mad about it. I want them to have the best. Obviously, this didn't put a dent in their relationship because just before you know it, they were out on the red carpet showing an intense level of PDA. It's literally tongue out, hand on the crotch level of intense. Speaking of intense PDA, the pair hit the 2021 VMAs red carpet together where Megan was in a very, very sheer dress inspired to give off the naked look. Apparently, the naked dress was Machine Gun Kelly's idea. Megan said, he was like, you're going to be naked tonight. I was like, whatever you say, daddy. <laughs> when it was time to introduce Machine Gun Kelly and Travis Barker on stage, Megan and Courtney took the opportunity to refer to them as their future baby daddies. And then they all had a weird porno styled bathroom photo shoot backstage because at this point, why not? There's actually a funny story of the first official time they ever met in which Megan told him, you smell like weed, and he responded, I am weed, 
but they didn't see each other's faces just yet. That energy is giving me this energy. You know what you are. Say it out loud. Vampire. It's very on brand for Machine Gun Kelly and Megan to have one of the weirdest first kisses. They claim that their first kiss was just them putting their lips in front of each other and breathing in and out. Okay. It honestly just gets a little satanic from then on because when talking about their relationship, Machine Gun Kelly says, It should be light, but also we go to hell with each other. It's ecstasy and agony for sure. I don't want people to think anything's perfect with us. I didn't say it was the darkest fairy tale for no reason. God help you if you would have met us last Saturday. What does this even mean? Wouldn't be a complete story if Megan didn't also give us her two cents about their sex life and relationship on Instagram as well, where she says, feverish obsession, guns, addiction, lots of blood, therapy, tantric night terrors, binding rituals, psychedelic hallucinations, and the kind of sex that would make Lucifer clutch his rosary. Are we all being pranked? By this time, we all know the infamous engagement from Machine Gun Kelly and Megan. And if you weren't aware of it, well, higher your expectations to the weirdness scale. Machine Gun Kelly gifted Megan a ring, which is two halves of a heart. Her birthstone, the emerald, and his, the diamond. Together they make one whole, souls connecting into one something, 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 something. You get it. Of course, we get intense paragraphs from both of them, and here are some funny one-liners. The ring. I want you guys to picture this as a car commercial. The ring, set on two magnetic bands of thorns that draw together as two halves of the same soul, forming the obscure heart that is our love. We asked for magic. We were oblivious to the pain we would face together in such a short, frenetic period of time. Unaware of the work and sacrifice the relationship would require from us, but intoxicated off of the love and the karma. I really, I just, it's not that serious, maybe? It feels like two juniors in high school just got engaged and were reading their Instagram posts to each other. And of course, the one-liner we were all waiting for. And then we drank each other's blood. Relax. Are they in love or is this all for show? I'm gonna say it's a little bit of both. They definitely lust for each other and there is this intense obsession, but they see the media's reaction to what they're doing and it motivates them to continue. They are 100% attention seeking and they know that their relationship is interesting to many people. So they love to add quirks that are going to keep people talking about them, such as a thorn filled engagement ring or adding, and we drank each other's blood at the end of an engagement post. Did they actually drink each other's blood? I'm gonna say the most they did was probably cut off their fingers and each one took a lick, if at most they even did that. It's giving emo high school relationship vibes and it's even worse when you realize they're 31 and 35. I think they're both filling up a past fantasy. Megan has lived a life where she was often sexualized in Hollywood and was never taken seriously as a woman. But with Machine Gun Kelly, she takes her power back and does things on her own accord. Literally, when someone asked her about the hate she gets for dating a man four years younger than her, she told the haters, F*** you. If George Clooney was dating a woman four years younger than him, no one would talk. Which is a valid response to that BS. And with Machine Gun Kelly, he gets to date everyone's childhood crush the Megan Fox herself. He's living his teenage dream and he gets to go around flaunting the fact that this incredibly hot and supportive girl is his. And she adds on to his weird quirks. And when you live a life that's a little bit more on the chill side, you start to get ready to fulfill all of Machine Gun Kelly's dreams of crotch grabbing on the red carpet. To my knowledge, it's not a fake relationship, but they both definitely feed on the fame and attention they're getting. And the whole twin flame soul thing seems like something someone would tell me when they're on acid. Well, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about Machine Gun Kelly and Megan's relationship? Do you think they're true twin flames or does this relationship scream red flags from the start? Let us know down in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. Thanks and I'll see you next time.